areas that have low levels of selenium have a lower recovery rate with respect to COVID-19. Higher selenium in the general population areas of China is associated with higher recovery rate. That's important information. Byron here from White Lion Foods, all the way from the Peruvian jungle. This video, we will see Dr. David Perlmutter. He'll be speaking about the link between low levels of selenium and high cases of COVID-19. We know that selenium deficiency, this is important, uh, promotes both the mutation as well as the replication and even the virulence of RNA viruses. Um, and this uh, COVID-19 is an RNA virus. So uh, it, uh, when there's deficiency of selenium in the cells that are involved, that are infected, this helps the virus mutate and actually helps the virus become more virulent or have ability to uh, spread. Now let's get to SARS-CoV-2 and talk about today uh, our topic, which is the role of selenium proposed as it relates to this current issue. Areas that have low levels of selenium have a lower recovery rate with respect to COVID-19. Higher selenium in the general population areas of China is associated with higher recovery rate. That's important information. Now, let me take a step back. Where do we get selenium? We generally get it from the foods that we eat, especially when those foods are grown in selenium rich soil. A little bit more detail in the city of Enshi, which has one of the highest selenium intakes uh, in, in the world, the recovery rate from COVID-19 is triple the average for the rest of the cities, uh, in, even including Wuhan. So here is a specific city in China that has naturally much more selenium in the soil, in the vegetables, and in people as well. And their recovery rate is triple the average. Uh, and it's important to note that lots of research has shown that this nasty virus diverts selenium away from us and to use it for its own needs. So it actually steals our selenium for its own purposes, taking it away from us so we can't use it uh, to create and activate antioxidants. So selenium, you may not have been thinking much about it, uh, plays a complex role, a, a multifaceted faceted role in our human physiology normally. And looking at selenium today through the lens of coronavirus, I think is very, very important. It's a critically important trace uh, mineral that we have to have in our bodies. We know that selenium deficiency is really common in elderly uh, individuals. Uh, we know that elderly individuals are at great risk for bad outcome. Uh, fatality in elderly is seen to be about four to five percent in people who are uh, age uh, 60 or above, and even as high as 8% in individuals uh, who are age 80 or above. And that's without considering uh, other chronic conditions that they may have. There is also low selenium in elderly individuals. So maybe there is a relationship. Let's see. Uh, good. <laughs> We're going to jump into questions and comments and, and what have you. And uh, here we go. Um, somebody says they, they eat Brazil nuts for or selenium. Brazil nuts are a good source of selenium. Uh, that's smart. Okay, other food sources of selenium uh, besides organic vegetables? Well, we know nuts and seeds, uh, Brazil nuts especially, 